Good evening, Sanbonan Tambam, Kulunkulan Musise. Everybody's been waiting for this time. You know, we received a lot of um, um, uh, messages from people who were writing to us and informing us that they really are looking forward for a Wednesday evening meeting of prayer. We are really enjoying the presence of God, even though it's very tough. This time is really tough. It's difficult to stay at home under lockdown. But I want to tell you this evening, it's exciting because we are treating a very, very special topic in our evening prayer. So I just want to welcome everybody who is watching here as live, whether on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, whatever channel that you are in. Welcome. We are here to pray and seek the face of God this evening, but also to see what other people are doing at CFCI. We miss you, Bazalwan. I'm reminded of Paul when he said, I long to see you so that I can be encouraged by your faith, so that also I can also encourage you and impart faith to you. So this evening, normally we don't spend much, much time because it's a special evening where we're gathered together as family. Please, Wabi Zabonke, call them from the room, from wherever they are. Watch this together as a family. And after reading some few scriptures, just ensure that you pray together as a family. We came to the Lord for such a time as this, so that you can be encouraged and have faith. Please don't worry. These two shall pass. So before I continue to share some few scriptures for our evening prayer, I love us to see really what families are doing. Please take pictures of yourself and videos of yourself as a family and please share with them to us so that you can share in other platforms of ministry to see what other families are doing. We received a lot of videos from families, but we're just going to pick up a few of them. Others, we are going to play next time. Please, I got also videos and talking to us. We are not going to be able to broadcast all the information or videos that were forwarded to us. But just look, look at this. Just watch at this together with us. Please keep watch. God bless you as you watch. I remember the other time Sikuleke Kaya and we talked with our kids Sati Asike Sinis Kati Lasses of Pika Sikulega Kona Sikonze Kona Sikulega Laikai Sikonza Laikai As long as it's a Laikaya Sizo Kulega Laikaya Sikonze Laikai So I must really say Njaloma is Katom Kulego Asenzi Juguti Siakulek But we just do it Whatever that we do we do it So indeed our home is the Obed Edom home. Umnandi siabongum u prophetess no apostle for Uguti bas encouraging as you can kulungul. Na majen jesi pumen konzwe ni kumnandi au got ya shashuk pumalion konzo. I bag it I pele le coronavirus. I just wanna thank God for um the apostle and the prophetess. Um, because our church has been in tune with the fourth industrial revolution since time. Um, the transition for us from being at church physically to being at church online was an easy transition. So we are just so, so blessed for them and just the vision that Unkulunkulu has put on top of Iimbilo Zabo. Um, so we are so, so blessed. Uh, Apostle and a prophetess for Lulu Shalu Lugubasi Konzum Kulum Kulusi Semakaya. Thank you. Thank you for the emphasis on the word. As Umam Zandbe say, she know, I think she said it a mouthful, but to be belong to a church that uh, is word based. Gabanti, that is what keeps us because the emphasis in our church is the word of God. So if frustration as scenario in terms of Uktola is the the frustration we have is that of just fellowshipping and be with Abazalwani, missing Abazalwani, but Sibongakulu Uguti when it comes to the word. We are well taken care of. Thank you so much. 
as a Flamini family would like to briefly share on how we've been coping as a family during this lockdown period and how the word preached on Sundays and Wednesdays by the Apostle has shaped our survival. Matthew 16 verses 18 reads, And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. Now, on one of our Wednesday prayer sessions with the Apostle online, he shared that the real church is now emerging. He also referred to a Greek word um, called Ecclesia, which means the called out ones. Now, we are now the emerging church in our homes. The real church is now emerging from our families. Amen. It is a momentous and powerful time in our existence, Bazalwan. As a family as well, we have been uh, motivated through prayer. Prayer has been our sustenance as a family. We have had the corporate prayer times. We have had, we have had personal prayer times as well as a family. And those have been sustaining us through and through without fail. Amen. Over to my wife. Amen. Greetings, Bazalwani. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. For your light has come. For your light has come. And Lord, Lord. And the glory of the Lord. Share upon you. Has risen upon you. That's the 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Thank you, Sadie. Um, that is that is one of um, the scriptures that have been sustaining us through this time because we truly believe that even in this time God's glory has risen upon us um, and the church is rising and shining and this is our time so thank you very much Bazalwane. Um in this time we've also learned that we are the church so even the youngest member in this church um, our son is engaging um, so he also has a task before the prayers before the services starts he has to find a worship and praise song for us to 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 um, engage in so it's been a really powerful time thank you um we've also been learning more about each other so we've been engaging in things like questionnaires interviewing each other as a couple we've also been interviewing Sadie um, and finding out more about him as well and his interests um and we're also doing fun things so card games um uh, board games we're doing dance challenges it's a challenge <laughs> but we are thriving and it's going so well and we really bless god we also still have our online home cell meetings and that's really been amazing and it's sustaining us as well so we're coping and um it's been more peaceful and um, amazing than we'd anticipated going into this. So we really bless God. Please be encouraged. Bazalwane, stay blessed. And know that God is with us even in this season. And the church said, Amen. Amen. God bless you, Bazalwane. Amen. We, 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 we trust God. right. But I would like to say as a family, we're okay. And uh, we've never thought, you know, that uh, our home could be could be a church, you know. And right here, you know, one thing, which one, four, four, two. This is this is a church, you know. And 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 this is a chabula kakulu. Many things are happening. We pray for one another, and you know, we we, we keep that spirit or esazi, you know, of, of of our church, you know, when it's Sunday, when it's time to give. Uh, you know, and we, and we begin to give. So the experience that we have is, as that we know of, that excellency. You know, that's what we are trying to bring also and keep also as as as, as a family. You know, and uh, maybe Nabanye, Bazo Kuta Zega, Etenini is cut less so it's uh, ni, 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 ni differences and iron them out and, and try and find a way you know that you can uh, accommodate one another you know and go this is all about love but together post COVID-19 uh, we're gonna come out of this a, a better church we're gonna come out of this sing a buzzer and and we're gonna come out of this having won uh, so many souls as well and Valerisa, who can you not allow us in Bombay? If we must tell you, see how do we keep ourselves clean, Bazalan? As in Bombay, 
Hello, it's Bobby. Keep yourself clean. Yeah, boo. And you wash your hands, use soap and yeah, water. Yeah, I'm mm. mm -hmm. And then when you cough, what do you do? And you cough, you do this. Ah, amen. Bless you, Bazalani. Stay at home. Remember, Kumangabu Puma, Uhamba, Uyanga Pandi. You must use your mask. We fire a shake of a salami. Oh, my God. Bless you. Bazalani, Sembo, Kulukulu, Ungalis, Kati, a Sibu, so send off down Bazalani. We know it hasn't been easy. Got a Sembo, Kulukulu, Guti. We have been given a, an opportunity on our platforms to connect in a band that to connect with umfundisi sithole izwe eli powerful eli sikhulisayo so siyambonga nje uNkulunkulu ukuthi akaze kube khona ilanga lasi izizo si lost khona we have always been uh, engaging with uh, our leaders naso sonke isikhathi ama home cells are still active uh, ama ministries abantwana they are still active so it's 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 wonderful as Kazas is holy see lost this number one of Uncle Uncle Sambonga Kulun Fundisi, Sbomanja Ugusipa is Ugusanta every single Sunday, Nangama Wednesdays, Sambonga Kulun Fundisi, Uguti is or Sipan and Yamanga Lisa, Sambonga Mam Fundis, Sbong and a team young and Omden Wong, or Gamson as Uguan and Bosses and Gonzagiti, we are Manga Lisa, see a cooler spiritually. And the Umden way too is really appreciating every work. Umden Wagadum owns our Pagati way too, and a Pagati way banda is a whole. Be blessed, Basalan. Amen. So today I'm going to be talking about how the lockdown is, how it's making me feel inside. It's making me happy, like really happy. Some people don't like it, but I really like it because it makes me spend more time with my family than usual. Because, like, with my dad, we bake a lot. We cook, my mom and I were fasting, to, like like this week we're fasting and it's really, really fun how we spend our time together. We pray, we watch services on the TV with Apostle, we listen to the Apostle's word, the word, the word of, of God. It's we pray, we do it all for God. And currently I'm doing school. It's, it's going, school is going very well, okay. It's a lot of, not a lot, but it's, some work that we have to like normal school work but online and we have online meetings and it's going so well because the lord has blessed me to finish all my work and do well and covenant kids on saturdays is the best it's like really the best it makes me so so happy i really enjoy it we do it every sunday at 3 p.m and i'm so happy yeah and it happens every saturday at 3 3 and I really enjoy it because around three o'clock I'm free to do anything, so it keeps me busy on the Saturday. From a student perspective, it has given me more time to spend with my family. And yes, in the beginning it was hard and a lot of uncertainties about what is going to happen. But listening to the preachings by the apostle, we know that God is still in control. As Ubaba has mentioned, we are bonding as a family by doing certain activities together, such as academics, gymming, and online church. who was a captain in the Roman Army Regiment, called the Italian Regiment. He was a religious man. He and his whole family worshipped God. So that's what we're focusing at following. Oh, bless the Lord. What a great testimony. Great testimonies from families, families of all sizes. I want to tell you, I'm one of those big families. One day, we are going to record also our testimony as a family and begin to talk to you. Amazing to see how children become part, you know, also the technical part in the, mini in the ministry, in the home, the homes of the house of Opet Edom. House of Opet Edom, house and a home. 
my CFCI church at home. That's what we're witnessing at this time. It's so great to see uh, to what God is doing also in the church, you know, broadly, to see what God is doing in other homes, in other people's lives. Before we rest for the day, I would love us to come to a very, very top, good topic, to a very sensitive and powerful topic that came out of my heart, out of my, my life, as I was just thinking of this evening, prayer. I'm taking our scripture reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25 to verse 27. I read the scripture last week, but please hang on with me here. This is why I tell you, do not be worried about the food. We are worried about food and drink you need in order to stay alive. Really? The Bible says, do not be worried about clothes for your body. We are really worried because we don't know how we are going to purchase our clothing and food. But listen to the word of God. After all, isn't life worth much more than food? Okay. And isn't the boat worth much more than clothes? So the Bible is taking us to a higher truth here. Look at the birds. They do not plant seed, gather or harvest and put in barns. Yet your father in heaven takes good care of them. Aren't you worth much more than birds? Oh, we are. We are worth much more than birds, I'm telling you. But this is a scripture that I want you to underline for this evening purpose. Can any of you live a bit longer by worrying about it? In other words, can you live another day just by worrying? Can worry keep you for another day? No. Number one, worry will not add a thing in your life. It won't add a day. It won't give you money. It won't pay for you. It won't pay your bills. So in other words, let us move from worry into something bigger than worrying. It's time to turn our worries into questions like, is there something I can do? Is there something that I can do with my mind? It's time to think. It's time to say, what can my hands do? Yes, you lost your job. But hang on. Can you keep complaining? What are you going to do? What are you going to achieve by complaining? Can you move from complaining and being worried into doing something about your life? Into doing something with your hands? Number two. What can your hands do? That's a question. What can my hands do? Psalm 90, 90 verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Our hands need to catch up with something to do. And then the Lord is going to establish the work of our hands. In other words, God gave us hands so that we can do something out of which you can live and be alive. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12, the Bible says, The Lord will open the heavens, thank you, Lord, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your, on your land in season, and to bless all the work of your hands. The heavens are open right now. I pray that God opens the heavens. I pray that the Lord opens the storehouse of his bounty. I pray that the Lord send rain, but woe unto me, what will happen if God just has, sends the rain and my hands never till the ground? My hands were found wanting. I was not involved in doing anything. I was not involved in building anything. I was not involved in tilling the land and planting the seed. And the rain came in. Guess what? What am I going to harvest? I'm going to harvest the weeds. Brethren, this is time to do something. I want to tell you, we've been on this lockdown for a long time. It's time you do something. You're asking me, Pastor, you're asking me, Pastor, what am I going to do? I lost my job. Let me tell you something. You never lost your hands. You never lost your mind. This is not time to sleep. Basalwan. No, no, no. This is not time to sleep anymore. Please, let's wake up. We must wake up as early as possible. Wake up and pray. Wake up and plan. Wake up and brainstorm in the, in the home. It's time really to think about what you're going to do. It's time to do something. Everybody must be busy on a computer or somewhere. Let us think and ask ourselves questions. What can my hands do? How can I earn money? There's a lot of money lying outside at this particular point in time. 
If not, volunteer to help. Essential service. Just do something. Volunteer to do something. Really, I want to tell you, you're not going to gain anything by sleeping there at home, you know, getting frustrated and worried and keep worried, sleeping again and again. Instead, you're going to become poorer and poorer. It's time to wake up. In other words, my topic today is say, stop worrying, start doing something. Stop worrying, start doing something. Another thing that I want to say, this is time for your hands to do something. It's time for hard work. Proverbs 21 verse 5, the Bible says, the plans of hard working people and profit. Can you listen to that? If you are working hard, we are going to end profit. But those who act too quickly become poor. Proverbs 12 verse 24, diligent hands will rule at this time. But laziness ends in forced labor. All I have to pray for this evening is that, Lord, open my minds. Am I missing something here? What can I do that's going to earn me money? That is going to make me to earn my own living? Or even if I'm not earning money, what, what can I do that is going to help me to have purpose in, to live a purposeful life, especially in this day and age, especially in this season? Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10, the Bible says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Even if you are volunteering to dish out food parcels or to help in a, in a local council or, or to help in your neighbor or to help in essential services, I want to tell you, do it with all your, your might, with all your strength. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead where you are going, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. Lastly, this time calls for people who will think outside the box. Forget about your dignity. Go out there and serve. If it doesn't pay money, it's fine. Just do something. As long as they can pay for your petrol or for your traveling, just do something. I want to tell you, as you are doing something, God is going to honor the work of your hands. He's going to bless it and the Lord is going to prosper you. Check at this time as you think outside the box. Your business that you have is not working, but just think outside the box. How can you change that business into something that can be workable at this particular point in time? How can you change? How can, what transport needs are outside there that you can begin to fulfill? You know, cleaning the yard of your neighbor. I don't know whatever level that you are in. For some of us, you know, getting that 100 rand and 150 rands is going to make a great difference for you. There are many yards outside there, they are not clean. Churches that are not, have not been cleaned, that have, whose yards have not been cleaned. Who is thinking about that? Because if you can provide a solution for the problems that people had, have this time, you are going to earn some finance and some money for you. So this time, stop worrying, start doing something. Study about new business opportunities that are, and careers that are outside there. Uh, it is my prayer tonight. That time for worry is over now. We've been worrying for too long, stressed and having anxiety and all that time. It's time to wake up and my prayer for you is that the Lord is going to bless the work of your hands. I pray the scripture of Deuteronomy chapter 28 over your hand that the Lord is going to bless your coming in and bless your going out. In fact, let me just open up this scripture from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 just to remind you of the prayer that I'm doing this evening. I want every home, every family, to think about this and say, I'm, I'm, I'm out of this worrying business now. I've been worrying and having anxiety for too long. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, let me tell you something. No, 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 let me tell you tired of being tired or being having anxiety. It's time to wake up now and pray. Wake up and think. Before you sleep tonight, think about these things. What can I do? What can I do? Brethren, I want to tell you, every member of the church at CFCI, I would like you to see, I would like to see you doing something. I'd like you to see you being involved. I'd like to see you doing something with your hands and going outside there so that the Lord is going to be made manifest in your life. I want to tell you, I bought some seedlings, a number of seedlings, hundreds of seedlings. We are planting, we are plowing somewhere in a rural area because it's time to do something so that we know we're not going to run short of vegetables. So what are you thinking about? There's a little thing that I'm talking about. But some of you, you've got big ideas. You can do something big at this particular point in time. What about going digital? 
Look at the opportunities digitally that are available for you there. For you young guys who are able to do things there digitally. So let us just, let me just release this word to you and pray as a prayer for you. I pray Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 3 upon you and your family and your family. I want to release it. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall your offsprings of your body and the produce of your ground and the offsprings of your, of your beast, the increase of your head and the young of your flock. Blessed shall, you, shall be your basket and your knitting bowl. Blessed shall be your, you when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. I pray the blessing of God wherever you go. Everything around you, may your life be blessed. Even your body be blessed in the name of Jesus. May he satisfy you with long life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for one idea to hit your family, to hit your mind. It's going to change your life. You are going to come out of this richer than you thought in the name of Jesus. Father, I just want to thank you. I just want to give you all the glory for mighty God inspiring our minds, mindset, our mind and our thinking, mighty God, and giving us new ideas to work with our hands, to work with our minds, mighty God, that we bring solutions to the problems of mankind and people pay us back through those solutions. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be blessed. Hallelujah and amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in abide all of us till we meet again. Everybody say amen and amen. God bless you tonight. I'm sure that you are inspired. You are going to talk about this as a family and think outside the box. We're going to continue to pray for you. We received a lot of prayer items. We pray for them in our prayer closets. We are not going to be able to read them here. Maybe one of the sessions we are going to do that. Please ensure that you tune in live on during a, 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 on, on Saturday, especially at 3 p.m. with your children so that your children are ministered to. And on Sunday morning, invite your friends and relatives. Please let us connect on Friday evening at 7 p.m. For the, the, for, for, through our platforms as we are ministering the word of God. Breaking famine is going to be the topic. Breaking famine. We are meeting there on the Zoom platform. God bless you. God bless you. Be blessed. Meet you next time. Good evening.